Gaming Life from Parallel North Productions. If you want to sit down today with David Z. Anderson and hear some of the smooth sounds you're going to hear uh, from the rocker himself, uh, we're going to get started and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. How's it going, man? Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you. David? Hey. Alright. So, um, what brings you, uh, what brings you in today? We just, uh, seeing what was going down? Yeah, let's we'll see what's going down. Alright. Well, with one of the things that I, um, wanted to mention about bringing David on here is this is something that we're going to be kind of bringing to you with Parallel North is a little feel of the area around here and what we're all about. Mm -hmm. um, as a production and um, you know promotional media, um, David's a solo guitarist, and he's going to sit down and tell us a little bit about that and some of his uh, music, and pretty much going to kick it from there, and um, basically tell us what's going down, man. No, what's going down is uh, I'm getting back into it after long hiatus from the business and hanging out in the woods and all that shit. Yeah. Well, how long you been on a hiatus? Hmm, I'd have to say about 20 years. What made you want to get uh, back on the scene and, and rock and roll and uh, getting back out there? I mean, well, what's, what's going on with all that? I've always had that in my heart. It's always been there, and I've always worked towards it uh, outside of the scene, of course. I took a break to really get my head together and clear it out and start over again from fresh. Um, my goal has always been to do a solo spin, which is what I did in this record. What was that we heard? What was it coming out? Was that Haley's? Haley's Comet. Okay. I wrote that back in 2000, I want to say 7 on that actually. We mentioned, I think, 2008. It was 2007, February. I wrote that uh, in Central Lake, Michigan. Yeah. In the basement. No, nice. I would lock myself away. You locked yourself away in a basement, not on it's in all good old Central Lake, man. Um, that's probably a pretty good place to be inspired. It's pretty down there, and quiet. Oh, yeah. Is that was yeah. well, now where? Tell me where you um, is that where is that where you grew up and where are you from? I'm actually from uh, north of Detroit, Sterling Heights. Mm. Okay. Good old Sterling Heights. So you went to school down there. You graduate down there. All that stuff. Right. Or? Right. So you I should say you graduate. Huh? You know. <laughs> yeah. I'm a long well, day, hey, you know. Yeah. That's, what it is, but so what brought you up to the you know to Northern Michigan up here in the northwest corner there of the Mint? Well, I was introduced to Northern Michigan by a family member back in uh, I want to say 1986, and I was just I fell in love with it. The peace, the atmosphere, the relaxation up here. Everybody was just good to get along. I wanted to get away from the stress of the city for a while, you know. Yeah. Well, but. Okay, yeah, I have dabbled down down in the Kalamazoo area for about six years, so I get what you're saying about uh, you know me being from up here. Um, you know, it's easy to come back to, but you know, I can see liking it up here also. Um, so basically, you got you had a band. I mean, what's your what's some of the some of the story and some of the backstory on uh, the rock and roll guy that is you? Okay, the new uh, latest is uh, just me. I call the project the North Rock Project. Okay. Uh, my thought was to have a band named North North Rock, and I would just write the songs and we'd get out and do it. And uh, that's basically that in a nutshell. I do all original. I do uh, my playing is is more or less like a, I guess we could say. What's the word for it? Not intuitional, more or less intuitional. Impro improvise. I'm good improvisation was. If that's the word for it. Improv artist, huh? Improv artist. Just uh, crank it out, improvisation, crank or if that's a word, like you said. Writing the song. I think it is. <laughs> if not, we made it up here on Parallel North. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to ask you um, that, that I, when I originally met you is uh, when did the North Project start? I'm a kind of a music guy, and I didn't, wasn't really familiar with it. Um, sorry, I am. I love the music. I love the sound. Well, it started... Uh, the name came early in the 2000 zeros. In the early millennium. Early <laughs> millennium, yeah. Okay. Well, all right. So there you start, you know, and you know, how many people were in the band at that time? It was just me. Okay. With this day. Okay. Um, it actually started, though, in 19, uh, no, not 19, no, 2007. And that's when I started to lay down the tracks. The North Rock, what I call the North Rock uh, 
what was it, North Rocks Adventures. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I like the sound of that. I mean, it sounds cool. Um, I'm sorry, it was actually the uh, um, Adventures of North Rock. Adventures of North Rock, okay. And is there any of that material around out there in the world? Or Yes, it is. Uh, I had a successful MySpace page. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the dilemma I heard. The that, dilemma. That, that, you know, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's not really a big thing either. It's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, it is and it's not. Well, right? hey, if it is, it is, right? Yeah, right, if it is, it is. Um, I'm working, promoting all this music on MySpace. It's really good. I got up to 30,000 mark. On fans, and all of a sudden, my goal was a hundred thousand. By the way, all of a sudden, MySpace decided to shut it down. It was no longer there. I went back and do something on it, and I couldn't get in. It no longer existed. So I had thought, well, am I going to scream and cry about this, or am I going to just get back to work and start a new page? Well, I took away. Started a new page up. I got close to that, not quite though. Uh, MySpace, of course, kind of squirreled out on everyone, so I'm the one with MySpace, I'm on Facebook. But the site is still there. I can add to it if anyone wants to go see it. What is that? The MySpace page? The MySpace, MySpace page is North Rock Solo Guitarist. Okay. That MySpace. 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 Okay. Right yeah, I, you know, I, I mean, I think we all still have a MySpace page, if you will. I actually check mine. I always love my music on there, and I, I always like to be creative with it. You know, not with plugging MySpace, but it was a lot of fun. And it was. It fell off it quickly as it came on. It, it like, did. It came on strong. Um, yeah. And, you know, and now we're in the Facebook world, and, and uh, tell us a little about, about about that, you know. I mean, what's going on and and, uh, and, and stuff. It looks like you're, we're going to get you going on a page. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're going to get that um, banging. Right, it's been sitting there, and I do have a page, North Rock Solar Towers on Facebook. Um, yeah, I've just been sitting there waiting for the day, which is coming here, to uh, start plugging everything. Well, one of the, uh, another thing I wanted to ask you also, why I had you here, is what is your plans for this summer? Do you have any? Are you looking to do any booking? Are you looking to reach out to any audience? Or, I mean, are, are yes. what's, what's on the hit parade for David C. Anderson? Yeah, I'm looking at uh, getting back out there and taking it by storm. I okay. want to play. I want to get up in front of the audience. There's nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. I want to kick out the jams. Kick out the jams. Right. Now, is this something that you can do solo yourself? Are you willing to do? Uh, are you looking for anybody? You're searching. I mean, what's what's on the curriculum? Is this is just completely a solo gig. Uh, well, you know, it uh, it was originally planned like that, but right now I'm interested in getting to the music community and taking on some friends with the project and you know being quite versatile. So you're approachable. Also, yeah, I'm approachable. Okay. You know, well, you know, there you have it, folks. If you uh, you know you want to throw him an email or something like that, look him up. Um, get in there. If you have musicians or artists, anybody's uh, welcome to fans. Um, I mean, or you can also contact him through Parallel North at uh, at Facebook, or you can email us. There's lots of ways to get a hold of. Um, um, David and get some of his music. You can go over to the Tumblr account in Parallel North that we blog over there. Um, we also affiliate with uh, Morgana in the Morning, which is out of the uh, uh, New York. Um, great player, good, got a good little program going on herself, which we'll uh, which we'll be um, sharing this over there with. Um, she does a live um, morning program, goes all over the place. Um, spectacular artwork and great designs. Very you know, good. Tell her a little bit about that. How, how did you like that? She, that's fantastic. She's she's definitely a top notch artist when it comes to this shit. Kind of gives you a good personal feel. Yeah, it? it does. It does. Yeah, and the shots that she. Um, did up her excellent yeah the dark goddess you know, you know that's what she's doing over there um you know she does my parallel she's strictly right now right now as we speak is totally all you know my she does my art the parallel north icons anything we mean backdrop gets scrubbed through her mm -hmm. um, i mean and you know a lot of times you know it's, it ends up coming out nicely so um, yes, ma'am. What's on that? So tell me a little bit about um, your guitar playing. What kind of guitar you play? You know, what inspired you? Who's some of your background artists? And, you know, I mean, give me a little feel of what, what you're all about on that stage. Well, basically, I, I prefer Ibanez, and that's my guitar of choice. And uh, I like the feel of it, the ease, and the sound, of course. 
Um, as far as my background, um, basically, I go I, I go back to the psychedelic era, Jimi Hendrix, in particular, and a number of others that I won't mention at the moment because I can't remember. And the hand that guitar is so long. Kind of production guy here, yeah. top quality. Um, he always makes sure we look good. From all kinds of different perspectives. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I feel more at home. You know, yeah, there it is. I mean, that gave me a little feel there. This is what it's all. So, what you got there, man? What you got? What kind of weapon is that you this got is there? Is this is actually uh, may even be a collector's item. No, I don't know. It's the uh, EX series, made in Korea. Yeah. And after that, they they switched it to China. I think. Okay, tell me a little bit about that. I mean, what's, what's, well, I'm, I'm, what's the difference? I mean, is there a difference? I mean, you know, we always make fun of China. This is the predecessor. Right. This is the predecessor of the RG series, from what I understand. Now, if I'm wrong, let me know. There you have it, folks. If you're out there and you're a rock and roller, um, we got a guitar here. It's, it looks pretty awesome. Sounds good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, as far as my influences go, I'd have to say. Um, of course, Jimi Hendrix is always there. Um, through the years, Eddie Van Halen is excellent guitar playing. Uh, lately, I've been concentrating, well, I have to say within the past 20 years, I've been listening to uh, Satriani and Steve Vai. I just love those guys. They're out there doing it, and they're doing it good. And outside of that, I'd say my influence is pretty much, uh, I've got so many guitar players that I just love. Um, Alex Lifeson from Rush. Back in the day, he was pretty good. And his even up. Love him. Uh, let's think here. I've got, uh, oh, oh, metal. We love heavy metal, of course. Ozzy, and, you know, you name it. Big fan, Ozzy, if he's watching this. <laughs> Cool. So what if, you, if I were to, you know, um, you know, gun to the head, you had to make a decision. Um, <laughs> what kind of how, label? It? What, 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 what is your what, what is your brand? I, I um, call it. I would call it um, psychedelic acid rock uh, underground. Let's let's say underground metal. No, I have to have some of the past in there. I would throw it psychedelic. Yeah. Metal. Yeah. When I feel it, it's emotional to me. I, you know, I, I like that. And man, I'm that, I mean, all the biker inside of me likes to hear that, you know, there's yes. just something about that. And I um, it sounds like tall gear music, you know, and go through the gears, get up there loud and proud, go fast. Um, you know, to me, it feels emotional. Right. I like that. Right. Um, you know, it, it is heavy metal. I will say that it, it's pretty, mm -hmm. um, which I like. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 uh, you know, I, I like it. You know, I think I think people can grasp to it. Um, is it for everybody? No, nothing's for. Not everything is for everybody. No, of course. Not. But um, is it cool? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I, and I and that's why I'm happy to get it out there. Um, one of the things that I'd like to see it, I'd like to see it. Um, you know, the jam. You know, I'd like to see more artists do their individual jam. Um, I don't think people need to actually go down to the bar and sell it out for four hours. Mm -hmm. Um, why not book a window and and you'll see what it brings in and, yeah. and you know go from there or, or open mic night and give people a platform to, to push themselves and we're um, working on that and you know, you know with, with David here uh, we're going to spin it around and you know we got top top shelf player to uh, to do it with so I, I like that I like that a lot mm -hmm. so what are one of the things that you're interested in besides for um, you know music who, who, who are you you know what do you do who am I what do I do well, I had to think now. What do I do? You know what I mean. What do you do for fun? You got any hobbies besides music? I mean, yeah. Hey, who are you as a person? Hanging out with the babe. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Now that's oh, always that. good times. A lot of good friends out there. Good. Yes. Good. Um. Oh, I like getting out into nature. The woods are like rocking for me. Yeah. Big time. You hunt or fish or anything like I, that? I hunt you know? and I fish. Okay. Uh, not recently in the past couple of years, but I'll be getting back to that. Nice. What are you, um, what are you looking to do, um, when you do get, you know, going? What kind of venues are you looking to play? I mean, you, you, are you looking to do something just privately? Are you looking to do internet music? Or are, you, are you looking to kind of get out there? And, and I heard you say you like to get back in front of an audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I'll be working with you 
And you've got some pretty darn good ideas. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, basically, when I want to get back on stage, and wherever this man can take me, I will go. And I, and I thank you, and I'm looking up all faith in this man. <laughs> Well, I, uh, yep, yeah, I thank you kindly. I appreciate those good words, and I don't want to let anybody down um, from, from my perspective in Parallel North. And we're going to push it. We're going to push it hard. And if anybody who knows uh, me, you, you know it's going to happen. question is, is uh, you know, what's going to come out of it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I look forward to that. The future looks great. Uh, me too. And uh, this is Damien Lesh with Sit Down with David C. Anderson, a solo guitarist from uh, Northern Michigan. We're gonna we're gonna get it out there. Yes, we are. Any last words? Last words. Uh, I love you all out there. I really wanted to share my music with you. And um, who knows? I might be playing in a band. My influence may go off into the band mode, and which is good. That that I would love. Well, you keep your eye peeled for David C. Anderson. Remember the name. Remember the sound. Check it out. We've got it shared all over Parallel North. It's on the, it's on the Tumblr. It's on Facebook. It's, uh, it's out there. Uh, yes. Please don't be, uh, be shy and 